How do you sum up 70 years of monarchy and 70 years of the UK in one afternoon show? Today saw the Union flag wrapped culmination of 18 months pondering that particular challenge. It was relentlessly energetic, oozing nostalgia, inevitably eccentric, and ultimately the final act in this memorable four-day Platinum Jubilee. The choreography was as flawless, nearly, as the image of monarchy it carefully projected, even onto the windows of the 18th century Gold State coach. It's wonderful, isn't it? The very one which once carried a young queen along this route. Now it led a vast military procession, complete with massed bands and representatives of the Commonwealth. Thousands were involved, including busloads of designated national treasures, Basil Brush among them. As elsewhere, tens of thousands more, we were told, had registered to host big Jubilee lunches. Including this one at the Oval Cricket Ground in London. A slightly more formal take on this big lunch concept of an annual get-together for neighbours. By a jubilee picnic table made entirely of felt, Charles and Camilla, who's patron of the big lunch, mingled with a specially selected audience. Some, to their amusement, in full bloom. A lovely end to some amazing historic moments, really, as, as, as the world have witnessed. I think we came together and really celebrated together and showed the best part of our, of our culture and our history as well, which is fantastic. I think that there are things that come along, they're like comets, aren't they? they? They come and they shine and then you don't see them for a long time. This was a moment and regardless of where you, where you were in terms of royalty and so forth, here was a person who you had utmost warmth and respect for. Back on the mall with the air of an Olympic opening ceremony, the pageant rolls on. Street theatre to the fore in one section, all heading towards a grand finale in front of Buckingham Palace and the royal family. All conscious that it may be decades before the next jubilee, there is no shortage of imagery which will define this one. Well, you can hear the steel pans behind me, the orchestra playing. Ed Sheeran's about to come on. There's going to be another rendition of the national anthem, but this is drawing to a close. Well, joining me now are the royal commentator Victoria Howard, who writes for the Crown Chronicles website, and Charles Anson, who's a former press secretary to the Queen. Charles Anson, it has been, it is an extraordinary finale. What do you think the Queen will have made of it all? I think the Queen will have been very touched by the massive flow of affection and uh, admiration for the role she's played over 70 years. And when you look at like, the Silver Jubilee, it was more the Queen okay, thanking people for supporting her. And I think the feeling of this Jubilee is everyone wanting to thank the Queen for her steady duty and her presence on the throne in all our lives in such a hugely changing society. Yeah. I mean, just a few minutes ago, the crowds were let in from the mall and they ran here. You, you maybe saw it. Right. They just ran here to get a decent place. We've got the gospel choir singing in the background now. Right. But the enthusiasm hasn't been shared by everyone across the country, has it? I mean, notably in Scotland, there's been some very sparsely attended events. Well, I think in Scotland, um, often the Scots have a sort of undemonstrative way of showing it. In fact, they're, they are very pro-monarchy on the whole. So I think um, the enthusiasm's there, and certainly nationally, uh, as I've seen it, there is this very strong sense of affection, even if you're not a monarchist. This is a head of state who's steadily kept going. Victoria Howard, your highlights. I mean, Paddington Bear having tea with the Queen. I absolutely think that is my highlight. You know, you have to reflect as well. In 1952, the Queen was doing her Christmas broadcasts on the radio. And in 2022, she's now interacting with a CGI bear to mark her Platinum Jubilee. So I think it just reflects the, the changing mon um, nature of the monarchy and how actually times have changed. And she's overseen all of that. But I think that will go 